Welcome. Through this video, we'll be discussing the basic layout of the Moodle directory and the Moodle page and show you how you and a student might log into the service to begin using Moodle courses online. Sylvania Schools offers Moodle at the web address of http colon forward slash forward slash moodle.sylvaniaschools.org. No www in that URL. This link is available through the Sylvania Schools main page, and I know that Southview High School also includes a link on their home page as well. Once a student or you accesses that page, you'll see this directory. And the directory is divided by Northview and Southview High School, the elementary and junior high courses, and some district level offerings as well. Archived courses are those which are no longer active that teachers have created but are not maintaining. So once you or a student accesses this, you can click on a level and see what is offered at that level. We'll be looking at the Moodle sample page today, but let's take a look at Southview High School which presents a wide variety of web pages created by teachers. The web pages are divided by alphabetical order, and we have attempted to organize according to the teacher's last name and the course. That, of course, that is up to the teacher's discretion how they title the page. So it's pretty easily accessible and organized for students. They can find whichever pages they would like and scroll from page to page to find their teacher's course. Going back to the Moodle main page, you'll see up here in the top right-hand corner uh, the opportunity to log in. Guests can see web pages if they are unlocked. And that means that they could see content, download files, so you don't necessarily need a login and an ID to access a lot of Moodle. However, Moodle courses can offer particular interactive features that are only accessible if you are enrolled in a course and you have a user ID. And your students all have user IDs. If you, and you have a user ID, so you can make changes to your course. If you wish to log in, often Moodle will ask you if you want to log in, but you could just log in immediately by clicking here and entering your username and password, clicking Login, and you'll see yourself listed up there in the top right hand corner um, Sunny student and Sunny here can access her user profile to make any sorts of changes that she wishes to her name to any of the information that she wishes to show everybody else uh, current picture um, her blog entries you can see individualized activity through her profile Going back to the Moodle main page, Sunny is now logged in and she can go to the course that she wishes to access, the Moodle sample page here. And this is a Moodle page. It's fairly busy, but um, it should be easily uh, navigable. You can divide the Moodle page into really two main sections. The first section is this middle section, and these are blocks. We'll talk about setting these up later, but these are main course content blocks that can change from week to week, unit to unit, whatever you would like. And all of these blocks are collapsible. So if I wish only to see block number one, then I might click this to collapse and show only block number one. Clicking back here would show all the topics. I could click to collapse to show only block number two. So even though the Moodle page is fairly busy and visually noisy, if you look at it this way, a student and you can collapse blocks to make this a little bit easier to see. So let's collapse this so we're only looking at block number one. And the second section um, are the, the wings here, the left and right sidebars. And those include blocks that are customizable for a certain uh, certain tasks and features, um, kind of like little apps. So the calendar over here is is obviously what it uh, what it seems to be. And you'll see a, a variety of different types of blocks besides just the calendar, upcoming events. You can search who's participating in the class and access people and talk to them. Um, search forums, and you'll notice that I'm collapsing these as I go, just like the blocks in the main page. You can clean up your Moodle, Moodle page by closing blocks if you're not using them at the moment. Um, this My Courses is interesting. It shows the courses that I'm registered for, and Sunny Student is only registered for one course right now, the Moodle sample page. But um, as she registers for more courses, those will appear right here. 
so I can collapse blocks and clean up my page so that I'm only looking at what I need to use. So if I'm on block number one and it asks me to look at news feeds, I can open news feeds. And even though the Moodle page is fairly busy, I can drop it down to access only what I need to see at that moment. Of course, everything is still there. That's the, uh, the navigation for the site is easily available by this navigation tree up here. You can see that I can go back to the Moodle main directory at any point. Going back to my Moodle sample page. If I go into the page a little bit, perhaps I go to this text page, you can see that the navigation tree keeps moving to the right. And I can go back any point up the tree. I can go to this resources subdirectory. I can go back to the main page by easily clicking on the links that are available in the navigation tree up here in the, the, the bar right underneath your title. I can always go back to home with the home button down at the bottom and home will bring me back to the Slovenia Schools Moodle offering. That's the basic layout of the Moodle page and the Moodle directory for Sylvania Schools. And checking out the next video will help you understand how to make changes as a teacher.